You look like the Mothman. Today, we're making a tomato basil risotto. Let's get buttered up, because it's time for Off Your Crocker. Okay, so our first step for our tomato basil. Tomato and basil. I got you, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> what two things go better together? They're like peanut butter and jelly, Batman and Robin, a hot dog, and a hot dog bun. You and me, kid, we're a dynamic duo. But to make sure that's especially true, this week, I'm going to conjoin us using these weird bands, and we're going to have to prepare this tomato basil risotto as one unit. That sounds like it'll go perfectly fine with absolutely no one getting burned. Dude, we're one person today. Maybe do you want to grab the camera so we can try to... Come with me. Oh, I hate this already. <laughs> I'm gonna take off my high heels because I think I'm gonna die if I don't. Oh, you're so small. I know. You just shrank. <laughs> Let's step in. So it'll be tighter if we put it like up here. Oh my god. No, 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 no. We gotta step together. We gotta step okay, together. Okay. Well, now we need to go and get a measuring cup. <gasps> no. Yes. One, two, it. one. I hate two, it. One. Just say step. Do so you need about seven cups of chicken stock or vegetable broth? I need two hands. You got three. <laughs> We're like Robin Big. Who's Robin Big? Who are they? They're a dynamic duo, okay. just like us. All right. I'm just trying to get this stock to simmer, and then we'll start. Hand me those onions. Now put the onions in here. Five minutes, medium heat. Let it just get tender. Can you hand me, please, the rice and the garlic? In here? Put it in there. Where else would I have you put it? In my in mouth? It's gonna be a murder in Savannah. All right, come with me. We're gonna stir this, and we wanna get it so that the rice is starting to kind of separate, and then we'll add our tomatoes. Okay, here, I'll I'll use, I'll take this. You hand me, you put the, put the, oh, put the tomatoes in. We want these to just get all coated. I'm gonna add a little bit of sugar. It just like really accentuates the tomato-y flavor, especially when they're fresh. <laughs> uh... All right, what's going on? We're trying to get the tomatoes just to simmer down a little bit, and then we're gonna add about half a cup of wine. Uh, uh, is it? Oh, yeah. You can use any dry white wine that you have. Not just half a cup? Just half a cup. After this wine has boiled down, we want to have our stock at hand. We're going to scoop one ladle at a time into this risotto. We're going to let it boil down for a second, and then we're going to put more stock in until the rice is plump and it's cooked through. Sounds like we're going to have some serious teamwork. Dynamic duo. You want me? I guess if I'm stirring, I can't hold the camera. No, I got it. I got a good Are you angle. Sure? When all the wine has boiled down, you can start ladling. Now we're gonna let this boil down for a second. Did we fuck up? No, I'm just so tired. Pivot, 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 okay, pivot, 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 pivot. See how most of this has boiled down? You know what that means? Nice. Watching through the screen. Don't pour, don't pour. Right. Oh, see? Okay, good. See? Oh, see? See? Nice. How many times are we doing that? Uh, in the tens or twenties. Are you kidding me? No, that's how you make risotto. You constantly add stock and then you keep stirring. Please sit down. Please sit down. Sweet God. All right, any updates on the risotto? It's almost ready. It is almost ready. Like, maybe just another minute or so. So right now this is a little bit soupier than I want it to be. I'm gonna let it boil down just a little bit. Then I'm gonna remove it from the heat and I'm gonna wait until I'm ready to serve. And then I'm gonna add more more of the simmering stock. More, some more. Some more simmering stock. I'm gonna turn it back on um, medium heat and then I'm gonna add our Parmesan and basil and then it'll be totally ready to serve and we'll be done. This was too much. <laughs> this was hard. Here, just pick all the leaves off with me. Okay, ready? Yes. Shit. 
So maybe you should do the cheese while I do this. You want to grate a cup of cheese? Sure. Whoa. Whoa. I'm really scared of pulling your hand in any direction. Yeah, me too. So I'm using about a cup of Parmesan cheese. I like to use a lot, but traditionally you'd only put like maybe a half a cup in. And I'm using more like a half a cup of slivered basil. We're gonna heat up the stock, then we're gonna put some of the hot stock into the risotto and reheat it. Then we're gonna add our cheese, add our basil, and then we're done. Oh, juice it, juice it. Okay, nice. Okay, ready? Nice. All right, and that's Is that pretty it? much all it takes. Yeah, and then we're gonna put it off the heat. And now... Oh, Dobby is free! The dynamic duo did pretty good today. We, ow! The consistency looks great. This is exactly what you want. It's, see how it's not falling? The upside down risotto challenge. The upside down risotto challenge. Whoa, yeah. it passes! Right, exactly. That's good. That's really good. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. We'll see you next Friday with more content. And in the meantime, you can find us on Facebook at Off Your Crocker and on Instagram at Off Your Crocker as well, where we put behind the scenes footage, recipes, and more cooking tips for you to follow along with us. Thanks a lot. Well, thanks a lot. Hey, thanks a lot, buddy. Thanks a lot, buddy. Thanks a lot, buddy. Oh, hey. Dynamic duos. Dynamic duo.